For this video, we will set up a podcast for two hosts and a guest remote caller via Skype using the MixPre 6.2. Make sure the MixPre is in advanced mode and is set up as a USB audio interface. For a full demonstration of using the MixPre as a USB audio interface, see the tutorial linked below. If the MixPre is set as both the audio input and output for your computer, you won't need to change your settings in Skype. If you haven't set the MixPre as the audio interface for your computer, you'll need to change these settings in Skype. Open Skype, go to Preferences, Audio and Video, and switch both the microphone and speaker sources to the MixPre. The MixPre 6.2 is connected to the computer via USB-C, and there are two microphones connected to inputs 1 and 2. We're going to use these microphones for the two hosts who are present in the room with the MixPre. I've routed input 1 directly to channel 1, and input 2 directly to channel 2. Now we need to set up the audio path for our guest remote caller. I'm going to use channel 3 for this example. I'll enter channel 3's channel screen and set the source to USB 1. Use the trim and fader gains to set the level of the remote caller according to best practice gain staging. The audio is delayed because it needs to travel into the microphone, get processed by the remote guest's audio equipment and computer, travel via the internet into the host's computer, processed by the MixPre 6.2, and then return back to the guest. Delays presented by processing are often referred to as latency. To combat this latency, we can apply a mix minus. Mix minus is the sum of all audio sent to the remote caller minus their own channel's audio. To achieve a mix minus on the MixPre, navigate to Menu, Outputs, L Output. In this screen, Use the headphone knob to select the channels of the people physically present in the room with the MixPre. In this case, our two hosts on channels 1 and 2. I have the option of selecting them pre or post fade. I will select post fade so that any changes to the level of the hosts can be heard by the remote guest. Do not select the channel of the remote guest caller, in this case, channel 3. Now we'll route the left output mix we just created to USB outputs 1 and 2. Navigate to Menu, Outputs, USB 1, and select Output Left. Return to the Outputs menu and repeat for USB 2. The remote caller will now receive audio from the hosts, minus their own voice currently being recorded on the MixPre. Thanks, and we'll see you next time for another Sound Devices tutorial.